Lexus is working hard to reinvent itself, to transform its image from squishy and stuffy to poised and passionate. And they're doing that right now with products like their F-Sport vehicles, performance versions of regular Lexus models. But that is not all. Take the LFA, for instance. It's a bonafide supercar like anything you could get from Ferrari or Lamborghini. And hell, it's probably a lot more reliable than those Italian brands as well. Now, to keep the LFA even more exclusive than the most posh Las Vegas nightclub, they limited production to just 500 units. As you might expect, this machine is every bit as amazing as it looks and sounds. Making it awesome, the car's structure is comprised of 65% carbon fiber, while the remaining 35% is aluminum. The LFA features an amazing mid-mounted V10 engine. This naturally aspirated power plant displaces 4.8 liters and puts out 552 ponies with 354 pound-feet of torque. But what's even more impressive is how it spins. Redline is 9,000 RPM. Best of all, it sounds like a super bike or maybe even an F1 car. A lightning fast six speed sequential automatic transmission sends power to the car's rear wheels and it can be shifted by the paddles on the steering column. So I'm driving the absurdly awesome Lexus LFA right now. This is a bona fide supercar in every sense of the word. The performance this thing delivers, absolutely astonishing. I'm whipping it around the track here, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The sound this V10 engine makes is just ungodly. It just loves to rev, goes higher and higher. And the transmission is just as willing to play. The thing rev matches like it's like telepathic. You want the next gear? It's there. Boom. It's a real shame that Lexus only built 500 of these cars. It is such an impressive machine. And it is way more car than I can handle. And I admit that, really. This thing is astonishing. It's best left to the professionals. For Toyota worked with Yamaha to develop this power plant, titanium valves, titanium connecting rods, and it just screams. It's like a bloody banshee. And then there's the Lexus ISF CCSR race car, a lot of letters there. If the LFA is a samurai sword, then this thing is a war hammer. The LFA is sleek and elegant, but the CCSR is brutal, like it'll eviscerate you if you're not looking. Compared to the production version of the ISF, it's nearly 700 pounds lighter. 700 pounds! It also features forged 18-inch aluminum wheels, racing brakes, racing exhaust, a racing fuel cell, and for protection, of course, a racing roll cage. Yeah, it's a race car. It's also powered by a 5-liter V8 engine that delivers a shit ton of power, just like the production ISF. And just like the LFA, the CCSR is astonishingly fast. I'm riding shotgun with Ken Gushi right now in the CCSR, a special race prepared version of the Lexus ISF. This car is crazy. He's going to try to get me to lose my lunch right here, so Ken, punch it.
This was a rare opportunity to experience some extremely impressive and special cars. And of course, in the hands of a trained racing driver, these vehicles are downright terrifying as well. Things are really heating up at Lexus, and let's hope that some of that excitement can trickle down to their mainstream model sooner rather than later. Well, my lunch stayed in place, the car's rear end did not.